Rex, buddy, I need you to stay here, okay? I'm gonna take Eddie out for a while. I'm sorry. Just go back to Lucky 38, okay? Good boy. Anyone seen the robot? Hey, Cass. Hey, where's Buzz? There you are. Companion protocol begin. Thanks. All right. There's one other independent place that we could do with getting on side. But, before we go there, I'm going to take a trip to Mick and Ralph's and buy some ammo and maybe see about getting some of my gear repaired. And then, we're going to take a trip to Gunrunners and see if they've restocked on any of their ammo. Ralph. How's it going, friend? Looking for anything special? What do you have in stock? Take a gander. Let's see, you don't have that much. Cool. Uh, I'll go talk to Mick. Thanks for stopping in. No problem. Mick. Welcome back, buddy. Uh, could you repair some stuff? Sure. Let's see what you've got. You're asking for a lot of caps to repair that up. That's sad. Alright. Repair my armor. What you got in your special inventory? Follow me. Like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. Uh, I would like your 12 gauge rounds. Get two twenty gauges. Not to sneeze. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry. Um. Your Vault 3 jumpsuits. Because someone pays a pretty penny for those. Okay, thanks. Okay, I feel a bit better now that my... Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. and said to give you this. King's really appreciative the last couple of days. Test me, kid. Like PTSD. Enough people have shot at me recently. Uh, 
Hello, my friend the vendor trunk. Potential customer. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Um Yeah, sure. I am ready to process our transaction. No, you haven't restocked yet, have you? Okay. No problem. See ya. Come back and see us again soon. Alright. So I want to get Jacob's Town on side. So. Hey there, Big Corner. No, no. Just keep moving. Marcus. Something on your mind? Um, what's the story with Keen? Smart, charismatic, and hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans, prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. Why'd you want to leave? Because of a promise. One I haven't been able to keep. The Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use, or used to use. Nightkin have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. Miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. Hmm. What happens if he leaves? That happens. There's a good chance other Nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse, if Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are gonna get killed. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. You're a mutant as well. Wouldn't the Nightkin listen to you? <laughs> That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others. Mutants included. Alright, sure. Alright. Uh... I had some questions about Jacobstown itself. Such as? Um... How does the town support itself? Bighorners. Good eating. And we can trade the hides. Got a lot of wild ones around here, so it's easy to restock the herd. All right. What's the uh, the history? It was a resort pre-war. I renamed it to Jacobstown after an old friend. Died a long time ago. I figured us mutants needed a place to call our own. Town's far enough away from humans so they don't bother us much. One of these days, I'm hoping we can trade with the rest of the wasteland. No more fighting. Just get along. All right. What about you yourself? I'd like to know more about you. Was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town. Walked the wasteland with a tribal. Now I'm here. Super mutant army. Long story. So here's the short version. The master created the super mutants and nightkin. The master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences. No more war. It didn't end well. Hmm. Uh, you were a mayor? Town was Broken Hills. Bunch of super mutants, humans, and ghouls all living together peacefully. Well, most of the time. And the tribal? We were looking for a get to save the village of Arroyo. Eventually, we did. Nuked an oil rig in the process. We went separate ways after that. I went east into the Rockies, looking for other mutants like myself. Don't know what happened to my friend. I've got a feeling it turned out all right in the end. Okay, cool. Let's talk about something else. All right. Why do some of your super mutants dislike the N NCR? A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans. Goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. 
What do you know about him? Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. Um, what makes the NCR too ambitious? They expand. Fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it. Eventually. Did it out west? They'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. Anything else you can tell me about them? Seen them grow from a single town, Shady Sands, into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. You have any dealings with New Vegas itself? Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. Sure. All right. Uh, okay, I think I think I'm done. See ya. See you. Hi there. Jimmy! Little Jimmy! My, how you're grown up! So good of you to come visit your grandma. Who's Jimmy? Oh, Jimmy, don't you go being silly now. Come over here and give your grandma some sugar. I think you have me confused with someone else. I... Oh, of course I have, dearie. How silly of me. I didn't take my medicine yet today. How can I help you? Uh, what's your job here in Jacobstown? I watch over the big horners. They're sweet, gentle creatures. But sometimes they get ornery. Just like my grandkids. Alright. See ya. Talk to you soon, dear. Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Why are the Nightkin here? The stealth boys we use have cumulative adverse effects on our minds. Jacobstown was supposed to be a sanctuary, a place to find a cure. Instead, we wait and wait. I'm sick of waiting. Okay, bye, Keen. Finally. Dr. Henry? Again you interrupt me. Why? How goes your research? Promising, but I won't be able to synthesize the drug anytime soon. I really should get back to my work. So, I'm kind of surprised to find another human here. I prefer the solitude. And having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. So, what exactly are you working on? How are you managing to cure the Nightkin? The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working Stealth Boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. I'd like to help. What do you need? I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty-handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big hornets to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. Hmm. Hmm. 
Maybe. What makes you think that their mutation isn't natural? I've compared the brain chemistry of a nightkin to one of the local night stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that night stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. Okay. Why is the stealth boy mark too riskier? The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject, and Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. Okay. Let's talk about something else. If we must. Um, see ya. Yes, yes. You alright there? You're just kind of ho hovering. You okay? Good. Arcade. What's up? Uh, can you head back to the 38? Oh, I thought my charm could win you over, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. You sure you want me to go? Yeah, just head back to the lucky 38. Ah, back to the tomb, I suppose. If you need me, etc. See ya. Let's take this nightkin with us. Something as big as her might be able to land a few good hits. Naughty children run from their punishment, but we'll find Betty. Won't be Leo. I'm looking at the Night Stalker mutation. Wanna come along? Those night stalkers always carrying my big horners. It'll be nice to give them a piece of my mind. Thanks. So it's behind the lodge. I have to go around the wall. Hey, Marcus. No sign of any night stalkers yet. It's sad if they're using their camouflage, we might not see them until they attack us. Be careful. Stalkers before. Not camouflage ones though. It does make things a little bit trickier. Not impossible though. Get behind Grandma, sweetheart.
something here is causing the mutation. The only problem with you activating your stealth boy is you are rather loud. Can I swim? Boy's got some red. Interesting. Door to some sort of bunker pre war. Shit tons of pyrocyte water. So the Reds finally hit us, just like I always said they would. Vegas is still there as far as I know, but that probably won't last long. Didn't get accepted into one of the vaults, so I did the next best thing and had this place built. Got massive debts, but who cares now? <laughs> That's every man for himself now. Had to take care of the Paulson boy since he knew about this place. These supplies are for me and nobody else. There's a woman and her daughter up in one of the rooms of the lodge. Might go pay him a visit tomorrow. A man's got needs. Creepy bastard. Stay low. Lily, I found your big corner. Thank <laughs> you. 
Search the nest. Where I first came in, I just went the other way. Okay. There was a room, a door, down at that room with the big corners, so maybe that way? Shoot on a stealth boy? Interesting. If they chewed on it, maybe that will have mutated them. We should get back down. Talk to Dr. Henry. motor, don't you, Lily? You know what, Lily? Tell me a bit about yourself. My, but that Lucky 38 is a large building. And so fancy. Some questions for you. Such a curious little munchkin, aren't you? What do you want to know? Uh, tell me about yourself. Oh! Someone wants to hear grandma's stories. What would you like to hear, Pumpkin? Where'd you come from? I grew up in Vault 17. I never even saw the sun until I was 75 years old. That was when super mutants raided the vault and carried a lot of us off. Yes, Leo, I'm getting to that part. They made me one of them, and they put me to work in an army that was going to conquer California. You were a soldier. A spy. Sometimes an assassin. I killed a lot of folks for the master. Yes, Leo, you helped too. Who exactly was the master? Oh, he was a nasty man, dearie. You don't want to know about him. He was the one who made that super mutant army I told you about. Okay. Oh. Who exactly is Leo? Leo is a very bad man, Pumpkin. Yes, you are, Leo. Don't try to deny it. He tells me to do things. Terrible things. And sometimes the medicine isn't enough to keep him quiet. But... There's no one there. Well, of course there is, dearie. How else could I hear him tell me who to chop? Right. Oh. Where'd you get the sword? This old thing? Oh, I scavenged it off a wreck in Klamath. Leo showed me how to make it all ready for chopping. Didn't you, Leo? Alright. See ya. Talk to you soon, dear. Okay. Grandma's creeping me out. As expected.
Can I get through this? Marcus built the wall well. Eddie, there's no point in going all the way up. Uh, maybe, maybe there is. Actually, never mind. We'll have to skip around. Telling you, that little robot of mine can fairly motor. Hi there, Nightkin. I'm trying to help. Dr. Is there Henry. something else I can do for you? I found a chewed up stealth boy in the Night Stalker lair. Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the Nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. Why Lily and not some other one? Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. What exactly are the risks? Possibly immediate and permanent metal damage. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark II's never got beyond the prototype stage. Lily already has a pre-existing condition, and the experiment will likely make things worse for her. I'll talk to her. I'll be waiting. Tell me, Dr. Henry. Is there something else I can do for you? How exactly did you become a scientist? Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. You were with the Enclave? Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, and canine neuroscience? Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. All right. This, um, I'll talk to Lily. Yes, yes. Download complete. Begin recording. Navarro Outpost Scientist, I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. Eddie, continue that playback. Please handle this information with the utmost care, as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the Duraframe iBots. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy, and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. Okay, Eddie. Please keep access to those logs open at all times. Lily. Need to talk to you. Grandma's so worried about her little baby. It's getting dangerous out there in the wasteland. Uh, did you still want to help um, Dr. Henry run his experiments? Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous. But it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting. OK. 
Okay, Dr. Henry, had calamity. The equipment is hooked up and ready. We can start the test as soon as you give me the go-ahead. I guess go ahead and start them. Very well. Please, stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. I certainly will. I quite like her. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. Feels strange. Strange, my God. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rat scorpion. Ah, Lily, smash! Yeah. How are those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero, but that can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is zero. That can't be right. It must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I liked having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment, once I've analyzed the results. Uh, well, well. Congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over, and we'll be on our way. King? My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stealth boy specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. What you do in the wasteland affects all the mutants here, but you didn't think about that, did you? No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well, human. You've made your point, and I withdraw my request. It was a lot more easy to defuse than I was expecting. Dr. Henry? Nice work with the Nightkin. I've never seen anyone able to talk their kind out of anything once they had their minds set to it. I got a lot of useful data from the experiment and am a lot closer to a cure than before. It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype... If... If it's a cure for all Nightkin, then the needs of the many must outweigh the needs of the one she should continue to wear the Mark II prototype. Very well. It will be worth it, I'm sure. Evening. Lily? Master Zombie. Bother someone else. I don't want any... Lily? Listen. Do you want to come with me? Hello again, dear. I think we should travel together. That'd be lovely, dearie. <clears throat> okay. So I, I heard of a vault near to Quarry Junction and Bonnie Springs. It's the last one that we haven't had a chance to explore yet. I think it might be worth a look. Okay. up a lot of red. Red means dead. Incoming. Cazador. Come on. Come on. Ah!
Ah. That'll take a while to wear off. Come on. Just keep moving. Ah. Grandma needs her medicine. Huh? Lily, what? Hello again, dear. Such a cure. Um. What do you mean, medicine? You know how to fight these fuckers? Come on. Come on, that big guy. It's not to say there won't be more. Be careful. Still, that might be a way into Quarry Junction. We do still need to clear the road. Okay, I was right. Another vault. This is probably worth an explore. Come on, let's have a look. <laughs> 